Icelandic authorities rushed to block volcanic lava from reaching a power plant near the erupting volcano. A volcanic eruption in the Icelandic town of Grindavik is underway, and lava is threatening the surrounding infrastructure. Now, immediate action must be taken to prevent the lava from reaching the Svartsangi power station. The latest eruption was characterized by heavy lava flows, one of the highest ever recorded in recent activity, covering major roads and threatening infrastructure in Grindavik and surrounding areas. Emergency teams have used water from fire trucks to cool the growing lava. Although simple, this method requires large amounts of water and a powerful pump. Ina Sweyan Johnson, chief of the Grindavik Fire Department, told the news outlet that they were aiming to stop the progress of the lava and protect the power plant and other critical facilities. In addition to cooling efforts, authorities have also begun building barriers around the power plant and the surrounding area. These barriers are designed to divert or stop lava flows before they cause serious damage. Constructed of gravel and dirt, the barrier is estimated to be 20 to 26 feet high and will reportedly take several weeks to complete. The Icelandic parliament has approved funding for this barrier through a property owner tax, demonstrating the country's commitment to this important project. The government has allocated nearly $3.6 million to purchase special equipment needed to cool the lava. The equipment, including powerful pumps and long pipelines, is also capable of extinguishing forest fires, making it a versatile tool in the nation's emergency response system. Although technically easy, the process requires large water resources and strong infrastructure to be effective. However, the research team looked at this problem from a geochemical and geophysical perspective. First, the team used geochemistry to look at the composition of the lava and recognize similarities between samples taken several miles away. These findings indicate that all the eruptions were triggered by a magma reservoir located 9 to 12 kilometers below the surface. Then scientists used geophysics to look at the distribution of a series of earthquakes associated with the eruption and discovered a cluster of deep seismicity at the same depth underground. It appears to be the main magma chamber or macro reservoir, which also supplies other volcanoes. This is good news, because it means we will experience smaller eruptions as time goes by, but there won't be many eruptions simultaneously across the peninsula. The combined use of geochemistry and geophysics is not common, but can produce estimates of how many eruptions a volcano might produce. The strength of this study and what makes it so useful is that we combine two fundamentally independent methodologies to produce very similar conclusions. Geochemistry shows that the magma came from the same source, and seismic tomography shows that there is only one main reservoir at depth. The combination of these two things gives power to our predictions. Seismic tomography is a process that tracks and analyzes seismic wave patterns produced by earthquakes to detect and characterize the Earth's interior features as a three-dimensional model. The study is interesting and the results are reassuring said volcanologist Anat Lev, a research professor at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory at Columbia University in New York. I think it is very interesting to see geophysics and geochemistry used synergistically to answer important questions about the Earth, an eruption could indeed threaten Grindavik. We have seen that even if magma does not erupt or lava does not flow towards the city, Inflation and deflation of the land and the resulting cracks threaten the stability and security of Grindavik's infrastructure.
There is a large supply of magma that is easily erupted, making it possible for eruptions to occur in the area over a long period of time. Because the storage area is quite large, it is increasingly difficult to know exactly where the next eruption will occur. That's why everyone in the region needs to be prepared for the ongoing eruption. Icelandic emergency services are committed to deploying all available resources to protect the Svartsengi power station and the surrounding community. These efforts underscore the enormous risks involved in protecting critical infrastructure from natural disasters. As lava continues to flow from the eruption site, authorities are monitoring the situation closely, 